Welcome back to Mark Strong Edits. Today we're going to take a look at how to convert your 2D logo into a 3D logo using Adobe Illustrator and Blender. Let's check it out. Alright, so you'll want to start off by creating your logo in a vector graphics software such as Adobe Illustrator. That's what I created my logo in, Adobe Illustrator. So now that I have my logo, I'm going to go ahead and export it into a SVG file. So to do that, you're going to hit File, Save As. And in the Format section, you want to go ahead and make sure, normally by default it's set to an Adobe Illustrator file, so you want to change this to SVG. And I already exported this once, so I'm going to change the name to Mark Strong Edits SVG2 and hit save. Then you'll get this menu right here. You pretty much just want to leave these settings as they are and just hit OK. And that's it for step one. Step two, we're going to import this into Blender. All right, and now that we have Blender open, I'm using version 2.81a. Um, we're going to go ahead and start by clicking our cube and we'll delete that. Uh, same for the camera, we don't really need that. Um, let me just turn on my screencast keys real quick. There we go. Okay, I'm going to hit 7 on the number pad to go to the top view. And we're going to go ahead and hit File, Import, and we're going to choose Scalable Vector Graphics. So this is the .svg format, so we're going to hit OK. And we're going to navigate to our, our logo that we just created. So here's mine, Mark Strong Edit SVG2. We're going to hit Import. And it usually brings it in very, very tiny. So I'm going to hit B to bring up my selection tool. And I have the logo selected. I'm going to hit S. And I'm just going to scale this up so I can actually see it. Okay, so now that we have our logo imported, we want to convert each one of these, uh, each one of the letters or each portion of the logo to a mesh. These are currently all curves. So I'm going to select as many as I can and convert them to mesh. You might be able to select all of them. Um, depending on how complex your logo is though, you might have to do it in sections. So mine, I have to do it in sections. So I'll select about half. We'll go object convert to and we'll choose mesh and then I'm gonna do the same for the other half of my logo objects convert to and mesh so they're still gonna, they're still gonna be called curves but we have the mesh symbol, which is the triangle next to it, as opposed to the curve. So if I hit undo, the curve symbol is kind of like this little backward C. But putting this back to a mesh, we now have the triangle. So something to help you out. Um, now I'm going to make all of these one logo. So I'm going to hit B to bring up my selection tool highlight my entire logo and hit control and J. So this just makes it all one item now. So now my logo is all one item. So I'm going to go into edit mode and now we want to go ahead and extrude this actually make it 3D. Uh, so let me start by hitting A. We're going to hit R and then X. We're going to start by rotating it 90 degrees on the X axis. And now we're going to extrude this. So I'm going to hit E and we'll just drag this forward a bit. And we'll hop back into object mode. And so now we have some 3D depth to our logo. 
and that's pretty much it if you want to add like a, a material to it maybe change the color um, you can hop over to the material settings um, we're just going to create a new one I'm just going to call this color and let's see we'll just make this red for now and that's about it that's how you import your logo into blender if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful let me know by giving it a thumbs up let me know your thoughts down in the comment section if there's other tutorials similar to this you want me to make in the future as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next one